Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the potential for cold and snow again. I think this is the fourth video uh, on this now, but things are start certainly starting to look more interesting. The forecast is becoming more interesting, although the forecast is also becoming more difficult. And the potential now is there for quite significant snow, but uh, significant snow is definitely not guaranteed. So it's kind of all to play for uh, right now, depending on whether you like cold or mild. So we'll start off by looking at the Met Office surface pressure charts, uh, just to get kind of an overall picture. So you can see here we are, uh, this is this was 12 o'clock today, you can see we have high pressure uh, to kind of dominating the Atlantic, have high pressure here, high pressure kind of moving towards Greenland now, which is the main thing I've been talking about, uh, I think on last Monday I was saying the high pressure here, it's going to retrogress towards Greenland, and now we can see it's finally starting to happen now, I get high pressure building over Greenland, and you can see we kind of have this North Atlantic uh, blocking and a Greenland high start to develop, uh, which is bringing in uh, that easterly airflow. The other thing you'll notice we have these black lines which are actually kind of convergence zones uh, shown on the surface pressure chart and that kind of just shows an area of enhanced showers. Usually in an easterly airflow, a proper easterly airflow, these would be areas of uh, kind of prolonged and intense snowfall um, because the kind of cold air picks up moisture over the North Sea, instability develops and we get showers. However, the air is just not cold enough this time and instead most of these kind of the showers from this convergence zone are going to be kind of falling as light to moderate rain, so nothing special there. As we go on to Monday, you can see that Greenland High really starts to develop, getting pretty strong. 1044 millibars and we get that proper easterly across the UK so feeling, feeling very chilly could be some snow and sleet across high ground especially in northern areas and then you can see what starts to happen by Tuesday is we get this big low coming down um, into Scandinavia with this cold front pulling in cold air behind it you can see this um, dash line that is the kind of the thickness of the air mass and it's kind of hard to explain but it's basically how thick the kind of air sort of is between two points in the atmosphere and the thicker it is uh, the um, usually that means the kind of the warmer it is and the thinner uh, the cold the colder and generally we're kind of looking for around 528 uh, for kind of cold weather and you can see we have that dash line coming in behind the cold front getting further south uh, as that cold front moves south by Tuesday, potentially uh, some snow and wintry weather associated with it. And then we have this proper northerly high pressure over Greenland. And as you remember, uh, winds flow clockwise around high pressure. So like that, we have a proper northerly coming in to much the UK with troughs uh, bringing kind of uh, kind of areas of enhanced snow showers or maybe longer spells of snow. And you can see now we have that 528 thickness line now moving in across Scotland and kind of just about reaching northern England there. So you can see by Wednesday proper northerly in place. We do have now a snow warning out from the Met Office, quite a kind of uh, advanced one uh, for our usual snow setups, and that has valid all day on Wednesday, mainly across Scotland, particularly northern Scotland. And you can see uh, showers will fall as snow to low levels on Wednesday. Accumulations of two to five centimeters are possible at low levels. Two to five, sorry, five to ten centimeters above 200, 200 meters, and drifting and blizzard conditions in strong northerly winds. I mean, I wouldn't rule out that this could possibly be upgraded to amber. Um, but, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. But anyway, so we have a yellow warning of snow. If I quickly show you what that might look like, you can see uh, this is the UKV Met Office uh, model. You can see this is a temperature at 1.5 kilometres, also known as 850 HPA. And you can see we get that really cold air, negative 10, pushing through behind the cold front. This is on Thursday. So by Wednesday, Thursday, you have that really cold air now over northern Scotland, minus 10, minus 11, properly cold. That moves further south. But... What happens as that really cold air moves over the sea, it kind of picks up moisture and really kind of intense showers start to form. So if I just look at precipitation, you can see, uh, you can see there we go. There's the cold front passing through and then just notice that barrage, constant barrage of heavy uh, prolonged snow showers across particularly northern Scotland. The mountains in the way will probably mean area to the south might not get as much. Could be some snow showers across Northern Ireland and into Wales as well, possibly into parts of eastern England, especially northeastern England. But just notice that constant heavy kind of feed of snow showers and that actually accumulates quite a lot of snow into northern Scotland by the end of the model run, even kind of uh, 10 
20, 30 centimetres, even just some low areas as well, or relatively low areas. So definitely that's the first kind of idea of snow we have. If we look more largely now, I'll show you the Met Office model, sorry, the European model. You can see here, that's the Italy, sorry, Italy flow I've been talking about for a few days. And then by Tuesday, we get that initial northerly push. Really dark colours here, the same thing, temperature at 1.5 kilometres. A bit really dark colours indicating snow conducive air. And that really pushes down from the north, potentially with some areas of low pressure, bringing in enhanced areas of snow. And you can see a similar thing to the European model, which I just showed a lot of snow showers, particularly eastern, northeastern coasts, northern Ireland, north Wales, and especially northern Scotland. Snow showers likely piling in across northern Scotland by Wednesday, Thursday, potentially some longer or heavier spells of snow, maybe even reaching further south. And so this is by Thursday, Friday, and we have actually good confidence that this will happen. If we take a look at the GFS model, you can see exactly the same thing here. Really intense snow uh, showers across northern, possibly northeastern Scotland, with areas of snow maybe further south by next Next Friday, quite high confidence on that, and you can see same thing low out to the east of the UK and really cold northerly air. So basically, up until Wednesday, we have that initial northerly push, and then we get cold air following behind the snow in places. From Wednesday to Friday, we have good confidence. It seems quite likely, if not very likely now, that we are going to get snow across northern Scotland, potentially further south, and everywhere will likely have cold air. Potentially, we get one of these. Lows bringing really intense snowfall for some, could be northern England, southern England, could kind of be anywhere. Anywhere is the risk of snow from Wednesday to Friday. If we look at the same at the Canadian model, same thing here. We have that low out to the east, dragging in cold air behind it like so, with a risk of snow kind of anywhere. However, that is certain for kind of those three days, Wednesday to Friday, will be cold. Then after that, we have uncertainties starting to emerge. Notice this area of low pressure here. Uh, what happens when we have these cold, kind of this northern blocking like this, uh, instead of having a jet stream coming right across the Atlantic towards UK like we usually do, it's pushed really far south. So we get that storm track through kind of the middle Atlantic and then storms impacting North Africa, Spain, France, those kind of areas. And so if I show you the European model, you can see what happens is we have these lows, pretty intense lows as well, uh, with lots of rain, lots of wind, moving to the south of the UK like that. You can see move to the south, snow on the northern edge, could potentially be uh, of some snow for southern England on that. We've got that next one coming in, but the most important thing is that low doesn't erode at the blocking. We still, that the low with all the mild air is staying into France, into Spain, and we get that still those dark blue cold uh, air with a continued northerly across England, uh, Wales, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, the whole of the UK. Uh, However, that's the European model. If we look at the GFS model, you can see we have those lows doing the same thing as the European model, except this one suddenly gets intense and it erodes into that northerly. And you can see we have southerly air now, that cold air pushed to the north, and we get proper mild air, stormy weather brought into the UK, uh, two lows in a row. In fact, then three, four, and then we get this really long fetch southerly before finally we get some kind of uh, hints that cold weather returns at the end of the run. So those are already two really varying solutions by Saturday, whether this low moves north into England uh, and Ireland, bringing really mild air and potentially some snow on the northern edge, whether it stays uh, Spain, bringing just continued cold air for the UK, or France, uh, bringing the risk of snow for southern areas, or for snow lovers, the ideal track would probably be, if we look at the uh, last night's six o'clock run, would probably be the ideal track, would probably be something like uh, not that i'm trying to find a good example but i can't seem can't quite seem to find it it would probably be a track kind of through the english channel so if you imagine a low kind of let's get here. so if we imagine this low here moving kind of through northern france the english channel with the cold air maintained on the northern side bringing a dumping across southern england that's the kind of most snowy possible scenario but then again we could either get um mild, properly mild, boring, apart from Scotland, northern Scotland especially, or we could get continued cold in the freezer, snow showers, areas of longer snow. So those are the three main models, uh, that's the three main possibilities. We don't really have a strong idea on what will happen, though if I had to guess, it would probably be the European model. Probably these lows, they don't develop quite as much, um, they stay more to the south and we get that cold to the air. And if we look at ensembles, uh, firstly I'll show, where's it gone? 
I'll show you the GFS ensemble. This is for Edinburgh. Actually, we'll go further south because Edinburgh is likely to stay cold. Anyways, you can see we have good confidence. The lines are close together. Uh, we have good confidence through much of the period, particularly 8th. That's that cold front coming in there. You can see that dip. The 8th to the 11th of December staying cold below that negative 5 degree line. So conducive for snow. However, then you see a kind of past the 12th. We get that ensemble spread really start to increase massively from all the way going from properly mild to properly freezing. So after this, there is a lot of uncertainty after the 12th of December. However, my best guess would probably be we kind of stay relatively cold. If you look at the European model for London as well, let's go to 850 HPA temperatures. You can see same thing, 7th to kind of the 11th of December really really properly cold however notice doesn't quite go out as far as we want but notice on the 12th of december or sorry if we look at the kind of zero o'clock one you can see we have really strong confidence on cold air till kind of the 11th and then notice compared to the zero z oh, sorry the the 12z gfs we still get kind of that cluster of cold around negative five uh, there's still more uncertainty uh, more kind of spread even if the latest one you can see that uncertain that's kind of spread has really gone down goes up towards the end but kind of staying uh, mild I'm sorry uh, staying cold looks like the signal if we try and see if there's a possibility of any snow you can see there is a signal all the way from kind of the 8th to the 19th of December a heightened risk of snow all across the UK that's London if you look at Edinburgh it's higher you can see spe especially across the 8th to the 10th of December but continuing all the way through so there is that heightened risk of snow. If you look at the GFS average just for fun, this is the average of all kind of the runs. You can see kind of agreeing with what we've been saying high pressure over Greenland, cold northerly air. This by Friday, you can see this is an average. And then what looks quite likely, we get that low to the east, continued areas of snow, really cold showers, cold weather, proper wintry weather for December. And then it's really kind of around the 12th, 13th of December, things start to turn uncertain. We still have high pressure over Greenland, really cold air. We could potentially see this low either making or breaking the setup. It could either bring a dumping of snow to southern England or it could just bring mild air. And that's kind of the tricky thing. Of course, it could also stay to the south like the European model and bring more just kind of um, more just like uh, what's it called? Um, I'm just trying to remember the words. More kind of just cold air continued. If we look at uh, European model average, you can see similar sort of thing. Cold, uh, sorry, low out to the east, really cold air coming in from the north, quite snowy. And then the uncertainty again starts to increase by around the 13th. Could potentially see a low moving across northern France, um, bringing a dumping of snow to the south. Could stay to the uh, south of that into uh, kind of south, southern France. That brings continued cold air or could go much north, much further north and bring mild air. If you look at the Met Office ensembles, then we'll wrap up the video. You can see similar sort of thing. It doesn't quite go up further enough uh, to show the period of uncertainty but what should be noted is that for all of the UK from the kind of night the 8th to the 12th of December heightened risk of snow showers and snow in general if I just show you the snow accumulation you can see this kind of says all you need to know heightened risk of snow from uh, the 8th to the kind of 12th of December too early to say where exactly apart from northern Scotland possibly northern Ireland northern Wales and eastern England but Anywhere in the UK, somewhere in the UK, will almost definitely see snow next week. So it's kind of starting to narrow down the forecast now, so stay up to date. Thank you so much for watching and have a great evening. Bye.